I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the Home Regions mod for The Sims 4. The first step is we're going to go to the Home Regions mod website. You can go ahead and click the first link in the description or you could go ahead and look up the Home Regions mod website. All we're going to scroll all the way down until we see download. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and press download and then we're going to press save and you can go ahead and get that file from your recently downloaded or you can get it from your saved files down here. I'm going to go ahead and get it from my recently downloaded and I'm going to drag and drop it onto my desktop. Next up is we're going to go ahead and open our file explorer. We're going to go to documents, electronic arts, the sims 4 and then we're going to go to our mods folder. If you do not have a mods folder you can go ahead and right click anywhere here, press new, select new folder and then just make a folder called mods. Once we have a mods folder we're going to go ahead and open it up. We're going to go ahead and create a folder for our mod. We're just going to click new and then folder and then label it home regions. We are creating a file for our mod so it's just easier and more organized to find our mod. And then the next step we're going to go ahead and right click our zip file and press extract all. And then we're going to click browse and then we're going to click documents and we're going to click electronic arts then the sims 4 and then we're going to select mods and then we're going to go ahead and click our mod folder that we just made and then we're going to press select folder and then extract as you can see when we open up our home regions folder it has all the necessary files that we need for our mod to run successfully and smoothly so now we could go ahead and close this and we could go ahead and delete the zip file now we could go ahead and test this out in our game once we get into our game you should be getting a mods pop up right here showing all the mods that are being run in your game currently as you can see right here in custom content we have our home regions mod right here and then in our script mods we have our home regions right here then we can go ahead and press the ok button once you see your mods there if for whatever reason you did not get that pop-up go ahead and press these three dots right here then you're gonna go to game options and go to other then in other make sure you have enabled custom content and mods and script mods allowed check marked so you could go ahead and have your mods running successfully and smoothly for your game. If you do not have them checkmarked, you won't have any mods in your game. So you're going to go ahead and press apply changes and then you're going to press the X and then you're going to go ahead and press exit game and reload your game to get the mods pop up. Okay, and then the next step to turn on our mod, we're going to press control shift C. We're going to go ahead and type in testing cheats true and then enter. And then now we have cheats enabled. So then we're going to go ahead and close that out with control shift C. Let's test out our mod. And then to access the mod, you're going to shift and left click. As you can see, it pops up right here. Since she has a home, we can't move her to any town, but we can click world filter exemptions, which would allow her to travel to any other world since this mod keeps townies in their original world. And then here you could allow her to go to Oasis Springs or Newcrest. Also with this mod, on, you can go ahead and shift and left click anywhere on open terrain and press the home region settings and then you'll go ahead and get the setting menu for the mod as well if you want to do any notification settings if you want to do street weights um if you want to do any career filters soft filter settings all of the settings that you need for the mod will be here now, as you can see now we have a random npc that's a vendor so you could press shift and left click you can move this townie to a world where the townie will stay and won't travel to any of these other places. Or you could assign them to nowhere, which will have no effect on the sim, which will allow them to act like their normal selves and go to any of the worlds. I'm going to assign this townie to Oasis Springs. I know you'll get this notification right here that the sim has moved and that sim will be stuck in that world as a townie and as a local. If this video has helped you out, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as always, bye bye.